How relieved will Chelsea be to, to get through that, Sue? Yeah, well, it should have been more sort of comfortable, really, the, the chances that, that Chelsea created initially. It was, it was actually, again, a good game to watch for, for the neutral. Um, but they, they showed good signs going forward, you know, the, the pace getting in beyond. But it's just that game management, maybe the lack of in, lack of experience, the inexperience yeah. showed at times, didn't it? Where I think when they scored the own goal, you could see it sort of panicked them a little bit and, and Leicester then started to, to get back into the game. So it should have been a lot more comfortable. But I think the fact that they did manage to win the game, like you say, I know it's going to be a, a tough game against Manchester City, but the progression through, I think, more relief than anything, I suppose. Right, let's talk about Raheem Sterling. Yeah. Um, I would think even Raheem Sterling, although he, he did put something out on social media, will agree that he had possibly his worst game in a Chelsea shirt. But is there any justification ever for booing your own players? Personally, I don't see the point in it. I, I think the biggest thing that you need is support from your fans. And I, I've been booed um, when I was at Aston Villa. I was this morning through. when you came in. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There's no need for that, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> um, but when I was at Aston Villa, I was going through a tough period. And it, it did. What did it do to you? It sunk me. Confidence-wise, I, I was like nervous when I walked out onto the pitch because you you want to play well. You don't go out there trying to make mistakes or trying to do the wrong things, and it 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 hurts your pride and it hurts you as a person. You feel embarrassed about it, um, and you feel like every time that you you pick the ball up, the microscope's on you more than anything, and that's tough to get out of. And it's really you need you need that support. I remember listening to an interview. Um, from Ty, uh, Tyro Mears, who used to be at Bolton, and, and, and uh, he, he moved out to America to play out there. And he said, it was so interesting, having played in England and played in America, the difference yeah. of support towards the players, the be a, a real support network of the fan groups in America. I know there's a different culture in the game and things like that, but it was like, even if you're having a bad game, it was like, like don't worry about it, we're right behind you and things. That's what you need from your fans. It's almost like you've got to go the other way. The more you boo him, the more he's going to go into his shell and the more it's going to hurt him. That little bit of support can do so much for a player to know that. Listen, this is a guy who's won everything in the game. Yeah. I mean, he's been phenomenal in the Premier League for not, like, not two, three years, for a period of, what, 10 years now and has won Premier League after Premier League title, has scored goals constantly, consistently for club and country. He's not a bad player. He doesn't come a bad player overnight. His confidence is rock bottom, and that hurts any player, no matter how good you are. The biggest thing he needs now, and you could see it with his, with his teammates, they'll get round him, they'll help him, but the difference of having a group of 20 people behind you or 40,000 people behind you, that's a big difference. The flip side of this is the fans pay their money if they feel a player isn't performing to their potential, yeah. then surely they have every right to voice that frustration. Yeah, that's, that's the other side. Yeah, that's the other side, and I think that's what they'd say. But I think going back to what Stephen said, and, and as a player being in that position, by him saying, well, that's not going to help him on the pitch, you think by the fans getting behind him and actually supporting him, that would then give him that little bit more confidence maybe yeah. because I think when you are down there and you know you're having a bad game, sometimes you try too hard. So the yeah. fact he took the penalty, so he was like, I'm going to take the penalty, I'm going to score, and that'll the free give me kick. a little boost. Then he took the free kick and you try things maybe that you wouldn't ordinarily do. Yeah. So you, you wonder, was, was that a, a thing? But I think the majority of the Chelsea fans actually applauded him. Yeah. So I think there were, there were a few boos, but I think the majority seemed to, to, to support him. So I think that it was, a, it was maybe more of a minor. The, the big thing I'd ask you is, would you rather have a Raheem Sterling that we all know is what he's capable of yeah. in the next 10 games, or would you rather never see Raheem Sterling again in the team? Which is the big, biggest benefit? Well, it's, a, it's the Raheem Sterling with massive confidence, help him out, give him that support. And, and people will go, well, you should be stronger than that mentally. Some people aren't, or some people just need something else, because he's probably doing everything else behind the scenes he can.